Hey TRT group, today I want to talk about at what point should you start initiating treatment in accordance to your TSH. Steve Debos asked me to do this video personally, so without further ado, if your TSH reaches a certain level, should you start treating it? This is the TRT and Hormone Optimization YouTube channel, and if you want to learn all about the science-based information on this topic, consider subscribing, hit that notification bell, and you'll be on your way. So in conventional practice, we've been trained that if the patient's TSH is greater than 10, then we should start employing thyroid replacement hormone therapy. However, you need to take in full context of the patient's full list of clinical symptoms, if they're present, and take into account where their TSH lies in conjunction with those symptoms. So in patients who have a TSH uh, between five and 10, they're considered borderline overtly hypothyroid. Now that's borderline for patients that are between five and 10. Now, if you have a patient whose TSH is greater than 10, they are considered overtly hypothyroid. That means without a doubt, you know they have hypothyroidism. Now, the question is what do you do if someone is borderline overtly hypothyroid. Once again, borderline overtly hypothyroid is when the TSH is between five and 10. However, we need to then look at how's the free T3 look? How's the free T4 look? And are they having symptoms? If they are, you treat them. If they're free T3, free T4 is uh, undermined, it's not optimized, you treat them. If they're borderly overt, let's say they're like a five, but they're free T3s, free T4s, they're kind of in the upper upper tier, they're compensating at this point. So be mindful that you look down the road and you can extrapolate and you can project that they will in fact become overtly hypothyroid. So this brings me to the question, at what TSH level should I consider treatment at? Well, traditionally most guidelines state that a TSH over five is when you should start considering treatment for the patient. However, personally, I feel like this is kind of a outdated guidelines. Um, first, there's the newer literature is showing there are gender related differences in TSHs, as well as age related differences in the TSHs. And the standard traditional reference ranges don't take that into account. Men typically have naturally occurring lower TSH values than women do, and whereas women, on the other hand, have typically a higher naturally occurring TSH value. Also, the National Academy of Clinical Biochemistry has now adjusted their TSH values to where their highs, their cutoff is now a 2.5, and thus a value considered 2.5 or higher is considered more diagnostic of hypothyroidism. Personally, I'm more in agreement with that guideline. I typically feel like if somebody's cruising at 2.5 or higher, you need to start bringing up the discussion of possible treatment and or maybe start doing digging a little deeper and exploring a little bit more. I've been using the 2.5 cutoff uh, in context with clinical symptoms for quite a while. Uh, I feel like a lot of patients report to me that they feel better when they're around one or closer to one and typically they demonstrate more clinical improvement when they're at that level. Now that's not to say that if someone's 2.5 or higher, that doesn't necessarily mean they will automatically get treatment. Some people are cruising at 2.5 and their free T3s and free T4s are great and they feel amazing and they have no hypothyroidism symptoms and therefore they don't clinically need treatment at that time. However, as previously mentioned, when you set TSH start creeping up, you need to start planning and start some forethought that there may be some projection that it may creep up later in life. Thanks for tuning in and listening to my brief discussion on the TSH and at what TSH value we treat the patient at. As a brief reminder, we always take into consideration the other values as well, the free T3, the free T4, and most importantly, clinical symptoms that the patient may be complaining about. Y'all, thank you. Have a good night.